Hello YouTube, today we're going to be looking at my 37 gallon aquarium, it has my pom pom crabs, white cloud minnows, bristle nose plecos, and we're adding some guppies and some shrimp to the mix, so stay tuned. Alright, so here's the tank in question, got a nice super red bristle nose right down front and center. I think I saw a green dragon over here. Yep, there we go. And the only reason I have these mixed in here is as soon as the super reds get big enough, I will move them over to my other adult super red tanks so there'll be no crossbreeding of the colors there. Oh, here we got a baddis. Looks like a female black tiger baddis hanging out down there. And of course, the long fin white cloud minnows. There is the bag floating of the shrimp and my favorite guppies. Here are the fry, long fin white cloud minnow fry. Uh, the pom pom crabs are in here too, but they do like to burrow, so I'm not sure if we're gonna see them. Hopefully, they're usually pretty active, so cross your fingers, maybe we'll see one. Might have to throw some food in there. But this bag's been floating for probably an hour now, so they're ready to come out my favorite guppies, and like I said, some shrimp. So let's take a look. So everything is acclimated. I went ahead and plopped and dropped. And can you see what I got? Where are they? There's a male right there. The panda guppy, my favorite guppy right now. And there's a couple of really big males in here that look good. Oh, there's there he is, there's one. Hopefully it will focus on them, kind of back and forth. And then the shrimp I got are orange shrimp. And where is an orange shrimp? There we go. Nice big one there. Not really sure how many, just a scoop of them. They're all hiding, of course. So everything in this tank is still doing fine. I still don't see any crabs in here. Hmm. However, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna combine both species of crabs. If you guys saw my video when I originally got the pom-pom crabs, you'll know that I had two different species. There was the pom-pom that we knew which one it was and then the other one that we didn't. And so I have been keeping them separated, but in the end, it doesn't really matter because they don't breed in freshwater anyways. They breed similar to a mono shrimp where you have to have kind of brackish and then convert them over to uh, freshwater. So that's certainly not gonna happen in this tank. So I'm just gonna combine them both. They're not gonna interbreed and we'll get a lot more crabs in here. So let's go take a look at the crabs that I have. <laughs> Ooh, that didn't sound good. So I've been keeping the crabs just in this 10 gallon tank over here and somehow a shrimp made it over here so that's kind of neat. So obviously they do well with shrimp. They're just, uh, but they've just been chilling in this 10 gallon tank since I got them. And I think there's really no point to have this extra tank if I can tear this tank down. Well I'll probably keep it up because I'm ordering some more fish this week. So I got, yeah that's what I'll do. I'll get the crabs out, I'll leave this tank up, do a water change and get a nice quarantine tank going for the new fish I'm getting this week. So I need to scoop all these little buggers out of here and move them over. So give me just a minute. So I got all the crabs moved over, I just fed the tank. So we'll see if we can get anything to come out. Hmm. Of course all the crabs already disappeared. Might have to give them a little bit of time to settle in before. Oh, there we go. A couple of them back there. Scooting around. Oh, there's one up here too. There we go. Now we're seeing some crabs. Any more over here? Pretty good shot of one there. So this is just a really fun tank to watch. There's so much going on in here. It really makes me want to do like a huge, like 125 or larger 
tank with just nano species. How cool would that be? Still kind of all going nuts over this food. I'm really digging the pandy guppies. I don't know why these are my favorite. They have been for a while. They got really popular last year towards the end of the year and then kind of fell off the map again, I feel. So I just kind of waited and waited and now they're kind of not popular anymore. So hopefully I can raise some up and start selling them. Ooh, this guy's coming up all the way over here. They should have some fun exploring around their new tank. Much bigger tank going from 10 to 37. So that's kind of neat. And real quickly, I always like showing off fry when I see them, even though honestly I don't keep them and they're going to end up as fish food, but it's still always nice to see fry. These are the Cryptoheris Myrnae. I don't know if we're going to be able to zoom in far enough to see the fry. You can kind of see them bouncing around in the rocks there. They usually make it about a week before they all get eaten eventually. So I just noticed this and I didn't get a chance to clean off the glass. Sorry about that, but oops. Just wanted to get a shot of them real quick for everyone. So just a quick recap here. It's a day later. Water's nice and cleared up. All the plecos are out and about. Looks like we got a crab. Nope. There's a tiger baddis. Nice orange shrimp right here. Of course, we're not going to see any crabs. Hopefully that's not a dead one. Nope, snails. Oh, there we go right there. Can't go that way, buddy. There you go. I think this is the biggest one in here, too. Let's see if we can... Can't really get them next to anything for comparison, but... They're looking pretty good in here, I think. Guppies doing well, picking on snails. No baby guppies yet, just baby long fin white clouds. But I'm really digging this tank, I think it's looking good. So it will be kind of cool just to see how this tank progresses. The guppy grass, the moss, the java fern over here on the left. Everything growing really well with just the Phoenix stingray light on there. Got the fry food from aquarium co-op, but yeah. Everything doing great, so. Oh, ooh, I thought I thought that was something on the pleco. I was about to uh, be a little upset. Alright YouTube, so that puts a wrap on today's quick Monday video. I hope you enjoyed the update on the 37 gallon tank. I know I did. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite tanks just with all the activity that's in there. So definitely subscribe if you want to see more updates and I will see everyone hopefully tonight on the live stream.